moving target against his own before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball. Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. And he's got this down to the 35. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. Mahomes now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Steps away to his left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. Man, we see a lot of quarterbacks try and do this. They get out of the pocket, they get in trouble, and they try and force the ball into their star receiver to make a play, sometimes whether he's open or not. And I think this time, it was definitely. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 30, 10, touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the NFC has taken the lead. So what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run, a lengthy one, takes him over 200 yards now for the game. And I love the fact that to get over 200, it took a pretty good sprint, didn't it? I mean, a lot of times you get one or two yards and, oh, he's over 200 yards. But that really put an exclamation point on the game he's having. Fantastic. A lot of fun to watch. So now Trubisky will lead his guys to the line. They'll go for two here. They're going to run it with Barkley. And he is go, go, into the end wrong, zone again. Wrong, so get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Patrick Mahomes and the AFC ready to go on offense. He'll be kind of looking to erase the first part of this third quarter from his memory partner. I think he, above all, was upset that they actually got to halftime. Because you saw him in the first half. He was yeah. really sharp. And they had good, the lead. Had the lead. Everything was going well. And you know you keep telling yourself, just stay up, stay motivated. But sometimes that halftime can kill your mojo. Yeah, now he's had an interception, a fumble. We'll see what he does here. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Mahomes, being chased out left. He's going to go deep for Beasley. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. I'm coming, I'm coming. This is Mixon. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he will take this in for an AFC touchdown. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the AFC has retaken the lead. He's turning in a heck of a game. He's creeping up towards 200 yards, a pair of touchdowns now to go along with it. There's so many things we can talk about in his game because we're seeing it all from him, but I love his vision. He's seeing the holes develop. He's seeing holes develop before they actually open. He's making sure he's getting to the right places, very decisive in his cuts, but his vision has been the key to all these big runs in this game. And on that last long run, we got a pretty good look at his speed as well. Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We ain't begin to tear you up. Hey. On first down, Trubisky. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. J.J. Watt. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Trubisky. That's complete to his speedy wideout Goodwin. A gain there of 30 big ones. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives him the lead, and he took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. Now it's Trubisky. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way.
Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. He's got the first down here inside the 30. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. A first down carry for Barkley. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run with Barkley. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now it's Barkley. And he will carry this one in. Touchdown, NFC. A five-yard touchdown run. And the NFC has once again taken the lead. So from three scores down, these guys have fought all the way back to grab the lead. And I'll just tell people what happened when they went up three scores. I wrote on your paper two words, game over, and now I'm eating those words. I, I was wrong. <laughs> a little salt, a little pepper yeah, goes hey, down pretty easily. I will admit when I make a mistake. Well, it looked like it was going that way. This is one of those paging Frank Reich moments, and I can't believe I just brought that up because Frank Reich at Maryland in college did it to my Tennessee Volunteers, oh. and I was a big reason why my team lost. Sounds like he still harbors some pain from that game. You know, we yeah. still got a little time to work it out with the doctor. <laughs> Mahomes in the AFC now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Buying time to his left. He uncorks it for Sneed, and that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Now here's Mahomes sliding out of the pocket. And the catch made by Hopkins. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. There goes a deep ball in zone, and that is caught for an AFC touchdown. Willie Sneed, 56 yards, as his guys are able to regain the lead. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with an AFC touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The offense for the NFC ready to get their next drive started. And one thing you'd like to see in a Pro Bowl, a competitive contest. We've got that just like the last two seasons, a one-score game as we play here in the fourth. What I'd love to know, what's the discussion on the sidelines of both teams right now? Because, you know, it's an exhibition-type game, but as you said, as competitive as it is now, these guys are going to want to win. There may be some guys who sub some guys out trying to get back on the field and trying to help their team win down the stretch. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. He's got his man. This is Tate. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Jadevian Clowney coming in to drop him for a loss of eight and it also brings up fourth fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game 
So it's the yeah. NFC with the football as we welcome you back. Okay. And like let's that. see what Just they've like come that. up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth down, here's Trubisky. Now a desperate, that's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. And, oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. And this is caught by Evans. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, NFC. Jason Witten, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late. But now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Let's go. Let's do it. Patrick Mahomes in the offense, down by a field goal, a minute seven remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. He's going to let it fly. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Back to throw. Mahomes eluding the pressure right. Now a desperation throw, and that's caught inside the 30. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to him in open space and let them do what they do. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, AFC. DeAndre Hopkins with time running out. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah, what looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going into this game, after a pretty easy week heading into it, that the pressure would ratchet up now and someone has to make a play, which means someone will have a play made against them and not have to live with that for the rest of the year. He's going to let it fly. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. On the draw, this is Barkley. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So they'll quickly now signal for the timeout. And it's definitely not looking good, but at least they'll have one final play to hope for that miracle and get him in the end zone. Complete to Jason Witten. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. So, Charles, final thoughts on this AFC victory? Bottom line, nobody appeared to be seriously hurt. That's the first thing we look for in this game. Well played, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. I think that everyone's going to go home pretty happy, especially the AFC since they won the game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.